Over to you, Renu, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Good evening and welcome everyone, dear teachers, students and the speaker of the day, Ms. Nandini Bhajkar. Dear students, I feel privileged to announce Learn From Home webinar series for other medium schools following my English course book 10, organized by MNET with the technical support of INET Connect, featuring speakers like Dr. Manjushri Sardesh Pandey, the chairperson of the Board of Studies, Balbharti Pune, Mr. Nadeem Khan, Academic Coordinator of Chess Ra Aurangabad and Board of Studies member Balbharti Pune. Mr. Avinash Rade, Board of Studies member Balbharti Pune. Mr. Mahesh Dudhankar, Board of Studies member Balbharti Pune. Mr. Bhuvanesh Kumar, Board of Studies member Balbharti Pune. And Mr. Pundalik Kaviraj, Board of Studies member Balbharti Pune. State Resource Person of Chess Ra Aurangabad. Mrs. Nandini Bhatkar, State Resource Person of Chesra, Aurangabad. Learn from Home webinar series has started from 31st of August 2020 and is going to continue till 7th of September daily, except Sundays at 7 p.m. This series would provide a wonderful platform to know and understand your English activity sheet. I request all our participants to be a part of this series that would guide you to deal with your English activity sheet according to the state board norms and criteria. Uh, we have with us Ms. Nandini Bhatkar. She is an epitome of the saying, you never stop learning. In her early career years, she completed her BSc, BA and kick-started her uh, teaching career. Throughout the journey, she realized she loves interacting with kids, teaching them and learning from them. So she went ahead to do an international course of early childhood education. By now, she has completed her diploma in human rights, a course in diploma of communication skills, MA in education and diploma in school management and administration. Her next checkbox on the list is PhD in education. Talking about her achievements, Mrs. Nandani has been awarded as a Nation Builder Awards by Inner Wheel Circle Group, Bag Awards in Artistics and cult Cultural Events, uh, felicitated as the most dynamic personality by New Horizon Public School, and stood in the first place for narrative writing and education competition in university level competitions. Let us, uh, let us all welcome the talent house herself, Mrs. Nandani Bhatkar. She's going to deal with story writing. So over to you, ma'am. Yeah, thank you, Renu, ma'am, for a wonderful introduction. So how are you all? Yeah, is it seen, ma'am? The slide is seen? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, fine. Welcome, students. So, here we are again with topic we have to write in our exam that's story writing. Now, if I tell you what a story, <clears throat> a story is stories a series of events and we have to uh, jot them write them and narrate events um, some memories okay so uh, some incidents some experiences and we can uh, explain some characters and action along with it so uh, it is an interesting topic and we will learn uh, point wise and how uh, we can write story i'm sure uh, you all must have listened stories from your grandparents 
especially bedtime stories uh, stories about uh, chutai and kaula dada and kostik pro and uh, some stories of the mythological stories of from ramayana and mahabharat and uh, hanuman ji so our mythological superman so you must have uh, earth stories about them so now uh, actually story uh, narration has a very old history but uh, uh, story uh, i'll tell you storytelling actually originally the stories uh, were passed on from generation to generation means oral storytelling and uh, some incidents suppose in case a traveler is passing by and he came across a certain thing he came back and he narrated his journey and uh, some some incident some scary uh, feeling or some scary observations and uh, then certain rituals some different methods of talk and then uh, slowly uh, the method of uh, uh, narrating the valor and courage of king Uh, in maharashtra also we have powada um, it explains about the um, the valor and uh, the courage of chatrapati shivaji maharaj so uh, stories actually uh, they were imbued with the personality of the teller and it took color on with the creative exchange with the audience uh, you must have seen you must have listened uh, some kirtan and story uh, narration were uh, especially done with uh, some props uh, puppet with hand in hand and a uh, uh, puppet uh, rajasthani style of uh, narrating stories and creating dramas and uh, so many things so many different methods are there for uh, storytelling so uh, slowly slowly as the uh, writing tool developed so when Uh, before uh, in ancient times the, uh, the the people those who were living in caves uh, they to uh, helped us a lot uh, they had painted their uh, walls with uh, their uh, the daily life which they were spending and uh, the hunt which they had um, like hunting experience uh, then killing of the mammoth and how they had uh, uh, had a fight with uh, a tiger or a lion and um, so many experiences and they were able to help us to uh, means they 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 depicted everything on the cave wall and the archaeologists they 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 found out for us and then we came to know about the history of the past and uh, so this way and on and we came to know so many things so it's a really very interesting journey of uh, storytelling uh, there it is said that uh, uh, storytelling and dance it has a good connection because uh, with expression with eyes and movement of limbs and uh, beautifully dressing and uh, so many things included in that uh, it helps to um, it helps us a lot to I know about the story and it it becomes very interesting if uh, if the story narrator or the, and and it it you know the kids they love a lot that uh, you all, you will enjoy when uh, you it helps us to keep the points in the mind uh, how the story is flowing and how the story is uh, because of the expression and the dance and music along with it so the children remember stories and sequence of moments they if it is combined with dance and music so um, kathak and kathakali and there are many more indian classical dancers they help us to um, narrate stories about uh, our uh, past history and uh, valor and courage of king okay so uh, previously it was that um, uh, art of writing was not developed so as uh, writing was developed uh, 
uh, when people started knowing about the language. Uh, archaeologists has uh, found that uh, some 3200 BC uh, uh, before we started uh, writing uh, this about, we came to know about writing. So uh, I think from that time onwards, uh, we started keeping records and uh, so many stories and uh, so many things were written and that was been uh, in a very creative way. So uh, the history of writing, story writing uh, is very creative and it really begins uh, with some fantastic ideas. And so, so many things are there and they, they, were, they were describing the, the kingdom and how the river flow and uh, how the jungles were, so many things. And the, the prosperity of India, um, it was said that uh, India um, was called as golden sparrow. So why? Because so many things were there and uh, the, the wealth and the richness and the natural environment. So everything uh, uh, was being depicted in the stories of the past. Uh, before that, I would uh, tell that uh, um, as it is, we are uh, miss, we are going step by step to all these things. I would like to tell you something that uh, uh, I would like to tell you something that uh, when we we are uh, previously there were no. Uh, rules and regulations about the story. Just you go on, write and write and write. Write down the incidents. Uh, you just memorize and you just put down that what things make it more attractive and uh, what is impressed and all those things. But uh, slowly, um, this uh, writing skill uh, as it 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 came uh, and our. Uh, Studies pat study pattern had changed and uh, it has become important that we need to write down and uh, it is in our syllabus. So we are here to uh, explain you how you can get uh, score good marks in story writing. So I hope you know it comes in your uh, writing skill and uh, question number six B. Uh, you have to prepare yourself for uh, story writing. So once again, I would tell that uh, it's very interesting and uh, it's totally dependent on uh, how the creative way you write it down and um, and put it in a very uh, different manner. It is uh, a beautiful art and let's see marks allocation. So how the marks are given for uh, uh, story writing. Yeah. So uh, the score more in story writing. So it's also a very uh, interesting thing that uh, you have to so score more in story writing. So uh, let us start with this. Uh, it's one mark for title and beginning. Now, uh, as it is one mark for title and beginning, you have to hold to write the title because you, you have to see uh, what the story is. Means, uh, suppose in case you have been given a beginning, uh, so you have to start your story with that beginning. Or if the ending is given, yes, ma'am. Uh, you are not aud audible. Uh, uh, till now or just now? Uh, little, like it was uh, not audible, but okay, fine. Hear you. Okay, okay, fine. So um, the title and the beginning, uh, we will we will just hold for a second. But, uh, but I would like to say that we are first thing in mind. You have to keep that uh, you will start your story. So in case if if, uh, if you are being given that develop a story. So the word it itself is indicating that you have to develop a story, right? So uh, develop is that the ground is yours, okay? The, the player is your, the player over here are your beautiful words, the way how you will, uh, how you will play with those words and uh, you should be very clear and uh, 
the first and foremost thing you will see about it is uh, the character which which is which is playing a main role in it so as we all know last session i said that about movies so if if in a movie if there is no hero then then the movie is zero so uh, uh, you have to think about the character and when you think of the character when you think about the character you have to uh, you have to describe those character and you have to write about it uh, his or her activity um, it can be uh, it can be a thing uh, or or a farmer or a girl or okay so then use proper vocabulary proper grammar and then your story should be logical and uh, when you come here you have to think for the title so how you develop your story your title will depend on that okay so uh, some of them they like uh, uh, a humorous story uh, someone likes to uh, write down some sad story or a happy story happy ending right so it depends on that and uh, according to that you can put down your title so for title you are getting uh, one mark and for vocabulary and grammar again you are getting one mark and uh, one minute ma'am yes yeah so uh, there are two marks allocated for uh, have you uh, have you jot down it and the actual content the main body of the story so this way your marks are being distributed so title vocabulary the logical order and conclusion and uh, the main body of the story so uh, this way your five marks are uh, distributed so uh, now i would like to tell that uh, there are certain tips how you will write story now when i tell you some tips you have to you have to think in your mind that you are going to write a great story okay so there is a quick checklist for that so checklist for a good story now the character as i told that um hero of the story or the main character of the story so uh, who are, who who is the character of the story so uh, a people okay some people okay and then uh, you can have a screenshot of this so then it will help you to write a good story so it will help you and uh, it it it's a just a small tip so then you can think of these points and uh, write your story so suppose in case you are being given some starting or an ending so first and foremost your words cannot run and complete the story so there should be some character and uh, you can have uh, one or two character and sometimes you can have three character but you have to keep in mind this very well that your know, each and every character those who are present in that story there should be some work for them you have to give some word to them right so you cannot just have anyone in your story and uh, um, they have no role so you cannot do that in writing narrating or writing a story so uh, a character uh, is uh, is the main base main heart of the story so uh, on that the story depends how uh, you have to describe your character is an intelligent or a girl is beautiful and um, you can write you can write down about the activity they do so you know basically what your story gets elaborated okay? so uh, you can you can think of few more lines and uh, develop your story ahead and then when uh, and uh, and uh, when you you um, describe your character 
automatically you will uh, understand that oh i can write down the next point that oh he was an intelligent boy or he was an hard working boy or um, he was a lazy boy and then if you want to make something humorous about it so then uh, automatically the second line will come and you can continue with your story now uh, we have our hero or we have our heroine but if we don't have location then the story is not going to go ahead so you can write about the setting where um, means the place it may be it is a farm it is a palace or it is a journey by train or it is a classroom or or some festive or 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 a road you are traveling by so setting is that so first thing we we saw about that is about the uh, uh, character character um, of the story and then we are looking for the second is setting setting is place and uh, and the time you can so you got one more line can be add up that um it was all in the morning so uh, or one fine evening or uh, in uh, at the night or early dawn or all these things you can so the basic thing is that that every point uh, you can have two three lines and you can extend and you can uh, write down your story now see uh, if you have character and if you have setting so story aage badhegi nahi so you have Uh, everything uh, without a problem it's not going to work because a uh, problem spice to life right so problem to hona hi chahiye so what problem will they face so there should be some problem so if there is problem uh, i hope you all are very good in solving uh, geometry and algebra right so every problem has a solution so then the prob ah uh, one more thing when you write down the problems You, you can think some genuine problem a problem maybe one or two don't make long list of problems so if you make those long list of problems then your story is not going to end and the examiner will take away your paper so please don't do that think of at least one genuine problem uh, i suggest and then um, and then use all your uh, grammatical skills and and try to find find out all solution to the problem and solution should be also genuine right now a solution of the problem how how are you going to uh, uh, find solution so you have to think of the problem first what problem has uh, is put in front and then accordingly find the solution okay uh, suppose in case somebody lost or something is lost so what are you going to do next are you going uh, or somebody is hurt okay so then what are you going to do next so uh, for uh, you, you you give first aid or you you go to you take help of police or if you, if somebody is lost what would you do you will ask someone some genuine person you take help of some traffic police or like so uh, this way the solution to the problem so genuine you know, problem um, solution to the problem Uh, we can find out now uh, as i told you we have character we have setting uh, that we know about the place and time and uh, we we have now problem and then also we have found the solution so now here stop for a minute for a second and write the title okay now how the title should be title can be a single word a uh, title can be a um, long one it, it can be some saying but try to be um, specific with the it should be it should be matching to your story it should be uh, interesting you know what the title uh, helps the reader uh, to uh, at be the reader is attracted towards that title and the reader will be very eager after seeing the title to read the story is like kuch to naya hai something fantastic oh wow something nice is written over here the title should be catchy okay see for this you can take help uh, you can write about uh, the main name of some the main hero of the character you can as you describe him you can use that word and you can write um, 
and uh, you can take help of uh, uh, the the main theme of the story or the main plot of the story and then you can write suggest a title or you can write the title for it and when character is done setting in place is done problem solving is done and you have written the title now you can come towards the end so as in our question uh, if we are having ending so then you have to write the same ending which is given if they want us to write the story with the same ending you have to write or if you have been given starting and you are going to start with those same words you have to end a story i suggest a story with a positive note um, a happy ending and uh, an affirm uh, affirmative in your uh, ending makes the story more interesting and uh, everybody will like to read so you have to do in this way now uh, describing about the character now characters who so a character maybe it's a person an animal you can uh, if i if i if i say about describe or write a story about uh, the uh, horse that marana uh, pratap horse or um, you can write about uh, any creature um, i i i know one story about a butterfly so her name is pari and so many things she does in the journey and uh, a wonderful story which i always love to narrate and uh, you use you describe that character you you speak the dialogue and then the story moves along and uh, along the plot line okay so uh, when you develop when you develop that character you write about uh, its uh, valor you write about the uh, the way the working the working pattern or his daily routine and um, uh, how helpful or kind he or she is okay so um, a story can be based on one or more characters and it is important that uh, every character has purpose in it fine so uh, character main hero or heroine of the story so it's much uh, more important now uh, come on let's uh, renu ma'am hello renu ma'am yes ma'am yeah i would like to uh, have uh, students response for this uh, they can describe these characters okay mm so students please describe this these characters yeah they can see uh, on the youtube yeah yeah so they can describe students describe these characters what do you see on the screen she i would like to add she is the girl is beautiful she is beautiful you can write something more about it no sheetal you have to describe the girl is smiling oh right. okay okay fine yeah shivani has written okay friendship of a girl and a rabbit okay okay she is joining these characters okay okay fine fine describe each character yeah. so if i have to describe the girl there is a beautiful girl with curly hair and a flower on her hair and she is uh, wearing she's she's smiling very, yeah she is wearing a very blissful a, face yes very good renu ma'am <laughs> okay this cute yeah the bunny. girl is so happy yes so see you got you you have started writing so you have so many sentences over here you can write and now about the rabbit if you say that now only yes. about the rabbit do yes. not only. connect huh? do ah, not don't, connect don't connect don't connect them 
just write about rabbit. You just describe the rabbit. How is the rabbit? Do you like the rabbit? Why you like the rabbit? Is it cute? It's dirty. What? Oh, the rabbit is looking so innocent. Oh, yes. Cute it's... little rabbit. Yes, correct. So is this a student's response or Renu ma'am's response? No, no, no. Student's response. Oh, then that, that's really great. The Good. girl, uh, the rabbit is a the rabbit is very beautiful with two oh, chubby great. chicks. Oh yes, chubby chicks. Yeah. yeah. So now over here for the vehicle. Now you only have to describe the vehicle. Yes. You can see the color. You can see the size. You can yeah. see the type. Yeah. So describe the uh, the vehicle. Car, the, uh, yes. vehicle. Okay. Shravani is saying plum rabbit. Plum rabbit. rabbit she wrote. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now everybody concentrate on the vehicle. We uh, you yeah. The vehicle. Look at the vehicle. What is the color? Since it's a non-living thing, okay. you cannot use the word beautiful. So what other word you use? See, you can, oh, you drive. can see a yellow and blue scooter. Yeah. The scooter is looking very pretty, but it's not looking pretty. Mm. It's very, very useful. You have to describe, okay. You have to describe how is the scooter. Yeah. Only describe it. Yeah. Okay, orange color scooter. Okay, fine. Very shiny yeah. and very attractive. Yeah. The attractive that, what you can yes, use. Yes, 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 yes. That's correct. Okay, so so now they are able to describe the character. So, yeah. so fine. So, so just keep in mind that uh, it's it's not compulsory that uh, the the main character is uh, is just a, just a girl or a boy or some animal. Uh, it it may be it may be chair or throne or whatever. Okay, so it can be a thing also, a small butterfly also, kite also. Okay, yeah. See here, so it can be kite, it can be butterfly. So, you want to understand them? If they if they do, so they will they can uh, it will help them for their vocabulary. They can. Um, so think so of you it. want students? You want to describe the butterfly? Yeah, they want to. Yeah, so good. So you can describe this but uh, butterfly. Okay, those who are not answering, they also started answering. Oh, that's really great then. It's good. The butterfly looks very vibrant and happy. Avni, yes, always, as always. Yeah. yeah. The butterfly is very colorful. Mm. Beautiful butterfly. Good. Colorful butterfly. Correct. So the butterfly is so pretty. Oh, yes. Beautiful, colorful butterfly. Oh, yeah. Smiling good. butterfly. Yeah, oh. That's true. We did not notice that. Oh, yes. Okay. okay Smiling yes, butterfly, sir. colorful yeah. butterfly. Good. Cool butterfly. Oh, yeah. wow. So yeah. we've got a lot of uh, response for butterflies. Oh, good. Good. Fine. So uh, the same way you can have a description for different things, different characters. And uh, this way, the story will slowly go ahead and you will be happy like this butterfly and your story will be fantastic. Fine. Okay, so now describing where and when. So uh, your story, uh, I, as I said, it, it can be uh, uh, anywhere. Uh, it can be on road, it can be on farm, it can be your room, it can be your personal room, it can be kitchen, uh, it can be classroom, uh, 
Uh, as I said before, uh, it can be a journey. Um, if you're traveling by air, if you're traveling by road, okay. So, um, and it can it can be any anything, any any place, okay. And time. So, see, uh, when you when you say when you when you write about the setting, uh, you can if you are writing about where, so you can surely write when, okay. So you can write about early morning, or it was evening, or it was in the afternoon. So uh, you have to, uh, uh, so it will help you to add one more line every time. To every point, if you uh, write a single line, it is going to add on to the next, okay? So, kaha pata chal gaya, to kap also bhi pata chal gaya. So where and when together, okay? So you can uh, always think of a line and uh, you can uh, put, those words in your story. Now, uh, here, describe the place. I hope kids must be missing this actual blackboard of the classroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kids? Are you missing? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes, they are missing. Why is okay. saying yes? Yeah. So, actually, everybody is, everyone is missing the classroom, actual classroom. So, um, you can describe, uh, they can describe. Now, now you can place. describe these places. Yeah, come on. Now, we are talking, now when you're talking about places, we have to describe the school, the railway, and what's the third one? Palm, palm, palm. Palm. Yeah. So you have to describe the place. Ma'am, actually, I, I, I'm just planning to have our farmers to have this windmill and the proper storage place and all these things. Okay, so uh, this is the farm. Come on now, everyone try and uh, describe these places. Individ uh, in, uh, uh, different locations are there. You have to describe these different locations. The location you have to describe, right? Place, so they have yeah. to tell about the school? Yeah. Or about uh, the they, blackboard? Uh, about the classroom. About the classroom. Okay. Uh, so they have written, board is in the school. Okay, blackboard fine. is very important for our lives. Okay. Okay. Uh, no problem. They can uh, they can uh, write about the blackboard. They can uh, write about the classroom also. Uh, it's it, it, it's upon them how they want to because uh, over here they are the writer and uh, they are going to develop the story, right? The so, blackboard yes. in the classroom is very clean. That is what oh. Prasad is saying. Okay, good. Fine. Board is green and it is placed on wall in the classroom. Oh, wow. See, that is Sunny Kai say. Yeah, see, now again, automatically another sentence was generated by her. She, mm. she wrote this sentence, and yes, automatically the story, is, the story is going ahead. Good. Okay, now you can have about the railway track, or it on can the be train about track the... on the farmhouse. The classroom is spacious. That is what Avni says. Okay. The blackboard is important. No, the blackboard is important thing for the students in the school. Okay. That is, that's what Meera is saying. Oh, great. Great, Meera. Board is, is a coaching center. Okay. That is what Santosh is saying. Okay. So, if, 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 if they are talking about the classroom, they can, they can think about the classroom, how the classroom is, the classroom is airy, or it is neat and clean, and... Uh, teacher writes on the blackboard. Everything these these things are there, so they can describe about the place. So now you can try for yeah. Ashweta, yes, yes. Uh, she's saying, "Ma'am, we can't understand the question." Which question? Which question? Uh, Shweta, you have to explain the place where you see these things. Yeah. Like if you see the blackboard, you see it there in the classroom. So you have to describe the classroom. Okay. Now these are now listen here. Here here the railway track is. Okay. So you are you are not just going to describe the railway track. You will uh, what will you describe? You will describe a uh, train. You will you can now what is train? It, it it's a it's a medium of transport. 
so now uh, you 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 must have traveled uh, you must have uh, traveled with train so then you can narrate about or you can write about your uh, journey and you can try uh, you can write about experience about it so you can describe means you can you can describe the platform yeah you can do that railway platform also you can describe and uh, you can also describe what did you see outside uh, when you were traveling by the train you saw lush green field uh, if you even saw the clouds floating by you can write this also okay so same way for the farm you can try for the farm now shweta hope, hope you saying, understood saksham jain is saying there is a windmill in the farm oh yes good that's good Yeah. So still, they are typing. I think. Okay. Avni fine. has written the railway helps people to reach far away destination. The weather yes. was cozy and warm. Oh, great! Train is going in early morning on the railway track. Okay, good. Ah, uh, Santo is saying house. The house is adjacent to other tree. In the mm -hmm. house passage, there is a vehicle. There is a tower too. Okay. Okay. See that's a windmill and uh, this is a tractor. Okay, so you can describe that also. No, oh, fine. So we can fine. go ahead. Yes, yes, sure. Okay, so yeah, character is done, and uh, uh, okay, after character will come here for the uh, problem. So as I told that. a uh, problem is spice to night so without problem maza nahi aata so it it becomes uh, more interesting because if 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 a story starts with all happiness and again all happy happy things are there so then it doesn't it doesn't sound story story nahi lagti boss so for that uh, every story needs a needs a twist you know so some uh, If if you must have seen uh, uh, Charlie Chaplin video also, in that uh, it, it's it, it's comedy, but in that uh, many times you see that there are some problems, and then very finely Charlie Chaplin finds some solution out of it, and uh, so the best thing that there should be a problem in the story, and as a conflict in a story, it creates and drives the plot forward. Okay, if everything is um, happy going, then the the story will stop somewhere there, and it will uh, lose its beauty. The 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 reader will feel that oh, then there is nothing interesting. So when there is a problem, the there is the the interest is developed, and um, then how? Up kya? So what will be done? And uh, Uh, there, there are, uh, there may be different types of conflicts. Sometimes it is an external conflict, or sometimes uh, there are some internal conflicts. Also, uh, some uh, more philosophical uh, conflicts are also there. And uh, there is a uh, for every uh, problem, uh, there is a solution, and we have to find. So now let us see about uh, uh, what types of problems. Okay. Come on now, try. Uh, these are the external problems. Any guesses? Uh, what problem uh, are being seen? Okay, first one I will tell. First one is villain. Every story has a villain. Okay, so come on now, describe this villain. Hello, student. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They need time to write. This. Villain will always try hero को कैसे हराया जाए, right? So
the villain is very terrible that is what santosh saying oh yes okay villain characters are very dangerous that is what shivani say correct villain is very danger dangerous oh, okay fine okay now we can shift to our uh, second uh, thing i i have shown here an ambulance so uh, external problems can be uh, accident or uh, uh, any uh, uh, a small incident or something whatever tragic or road accident or uh, any illness or whatever okay so you can write about uh you can describe about uh, the external problem in with these things ambulance is very important for emergency patient okay. so exactly uh, this you require they have to describe the external problems uh no uh, external problems means they can uh, uh i i just want that uh, how they can add a sentence to uh the story so they can describe it well so that is the reason okay so uh, i just want to say that external okay. problems can be accident uh it can be as i have uh, shown on the slide okay, it okay. is uh, it can be theft now what what type of theft so uh, maybe the credit card is lost or debit card is lost or any any type of theft okay, okay. so uh, your personal belonging this from sanika Yeah. There is ambulance which is taking a patient to the hospital. Okay. Ambulance is very important for patients. Okay. Then okay. in the picture standing one very terrible person. It is, it's taking a hand. Okay. Ambulance okay. has a red bulb. Okay. Then uh, Avni is saying the ambulance had the patient in it, or uh, who was su suffering from heart attack, but okay. suddenly it crashed in a truck. Okay. Ah, yes. Yes. See now. So then, automatically the story has taken second second part. Okay. So from one problem, it has come to the second part. Okay. Many times in movies also when we see that uh, some patient is not well and then the ambulance is uh, 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 is rushing towards hospital and then that that ambulance is uh, stuck up in traffic and then the hero of the movie he comes and he. he waves away the traffic and then takes on the way gives a way to the uh, ambulance to the hospital so yes uh, this this way the story the story goes ahead the the, the plot moves ahead okay so uh, in the third picture it is about the theft uh, it can be theft of uh, your valuable things uh, money or if you are some some favorite thing uh, suppose in case if, if i say um, your your favorite pillow is lost or your bag is lost or your purse is lost or it it has been somebody has dropped it or whatever so uh, you can uh, you can think about these ex external problems also okay so okay and for yeah. the card avnish writing the yeah. officer lost all his money due to cyber crime oh <laughs> his money was stolen by a fake call asking for his debit pin yeah actually ma'am you know nowadays these things are uh, uh, everybody is facing a uh, problem with these things some cyber fake crimes, calls yeah. yeah cyber crimes good 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 abhi uh, she is alert about it good so uh, now next about uh, internal problems now about internal problems you can see this girl she is lying on the couch and um she has no motivation she has become lazy and so now now they can they can uh, uh, think and write uh, the second picture is about fear so internal problems such as no motivation uh, lack of confidence laziness a uh, fear um anger ego all these things are the internal problems so uh, you uh, so if you are if you are writing a story about a rude boy or uh, a boy who who had um, uh, who was into bad company uh, he he used to shout and he was very egoistic and 
no, we can you can write such things so uh, you you can you can you will be helped uh, by these types of uh, uh, words and you can um, you will be very specific about the internal problem so you can try fine so then uh, uh, shall we move ahead yeah sheetal is saying the girl is so lazy because yes. she walks as so much at noon and slept on the sofa only <laughs> yes yes good good observation and um, shavani is saying the thief is uh, has stolen her purse that's very bad so oh. no that's a cat uh, <laughs> shavani yeah that this is a cat and i can see a smile on her face and she is you listening to the music yes avni yes. saying the girl is finally done with her exams okay she is relaxing on her couch okay with a cat spoon in her arms okay okay fine so she has she has gone or gone your two steps ahead with this thing so it's fine sanika is saying a girl is listening songs yeah. because she is so tired uh -huh. and so songs makes her relax okay so song is making her relax and she is tired okay fine so she has found some solution to her problem that's also good 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 sign for the next picture sheetal is saying the the face surprised after looking at the snake oh yes oh my god yeah the yeah, picture is oh my god picture oh yes oh my that god that is what rupali said oh yes correct rupali the picture is of a fear and and about this and about this the last one the last they, one yeah don't do they do at home such things thank you so i say for the second one yeah uh, the girl saw the tiger and so he the prey oh yes yes okay good so now let's move ahead and now describing solution so um i always feel that if there is a problem solution is somewhere there and uh, for for my student i always tell ki question mein hi answer chupa hota hai so uh, same way in that problem only solution lies somewhere so uh, you have to when when you have come across when you have uh, described your character so well you have described the uh, the the location so well time uh, and everything and about the problem so when you have think thought about the problem uh, you should also think about the solution okay so solution should be uh, related to the problem okay so now uh, if if somebody has fallen down what would you do uh, then the solution for it is at least you will give the first aid if you have uh, uh, some a uh, theft in your house what will you do you will you will call police right so that will be solution uh, it is not that if if it is a theft in your place you you put on your uh, speaker loud on music system on loud and start dancing so then that is not the solution so the solution is that you you call the police okay? so uh, according to your problem you have to think for the solution fine so now let us see what problem is and how will find the solution come on again start writing again that beautiful girl now she is on the couch and uh, uh now you can write what is going on come on kids try i would i would like to tell you something that uh, her mother has noticed a uh, fine i would tell that uh, she is tina and um, her mother noticed that she has become lazy and she spends her most of the time listening music and she is on the couch and she just sleeps for a long time okay so now this is the problem and think for the solution come on fine i'm sure you will you are all smart uh, you can find Renu, Renu, ma'am, are they writing? Yeah, they are. They are writing. 
Now it's a oh, big okay. sentence. So they will take time. Oh, no problem. So Purnima is saying the girl is yeah. happy happy because she is listening to the music. Okay. Okay, fine. But suppose in case if I say that her mother has found that she has become lazy. Okay, she is listening music, but then she is not uh, active. She is not doing her uh, school work or her, uh, her maybe she is working in her office or. Uh, Something, but she's not doing that. Okay, she's just lying and listening and spending her own leisure time. But but she's not doing anything uh, that can help her uh, to do something, or she's not doing something like that. So so uh, then what? Uh, what uh, Avni is saying? But then the girl understood her mistake, and then she started controlling herself by meditating and practicing yoga. That she was happy, oh, okay. she was lazy, but then she understood okay. it, and then she started practicing yoga. Wow. And so Abbaso she... uh, Havaldar hmm. is saying she is going to the party, and when she came, she was tired. Oh, no, no, it was not that. It was okay, fine. He thinks that uh, she went for a party and she was tired. Okay, so uh, when I, uh, I just want that uh, uh, her mother has find, found that uh, she has become lazy. So for this situation, what uh, what is what is your thought or what is your solution? Shravani so, so is saying yeah. the girl can do her work with listening to the music. She doesn't have to be lazy. But then she she is spending her time. Her mother mother has uh, noticed that uh, uh, she has become lazy. She is not doing her work. So that is the reason. So what is your suggestion? Yeah, that is sure, Avni. That. Uh, uh, while listening to Shravani, 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 okay, Shravani. So, uh, yeah, sure, she can do her work, but see, she is not doing. She is just lying on the couch. But so now they is saying, yeah, the girl is happy because she got marks for exam in the exam, and therefore okay. she is relaxing. Oh wow, yeah, okay, fine. So she got marks, so she is relaxing. But again, I'm coming to this. That fine. So, uh, uh, according to, I think, so, so one uh, girl, she suggested. Last yeah. Uh, yeah. Manjusha Joshi saying, yeah. the girl is laughing because she complained her mother about her sister is doing nothing for three hours and then she is listening to the music. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. So, uh, as uh, 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 one girl, she suggested about that, she she started doing yoga and meditating and then now she, she understood her mistake and she is doing so if if the situation see now in the plot what i said that mother thought that she has turned lazy so now to this problem a solution should be okay so then what what solution can come to your mind uh, as uh, that girl uh, i don't remember her name but she says she suggested about about uh, meditation, about yoga, yes, Avni. some yeah, Avni, yes, good Avni, and then uh, it can be something like that. That mother made her uh, listen some spiritual talk or uh, some nice uh, positive thinking lectures or some nice beautiful story, right? So if if some nice story if she has heard and then she realized that oh yes. Uh, uh, as someone suggested keep, uh, but by listening to music also she can do her work so uh, that can be the solution and yes she can by this what you know her work will not be hampered and she will do her work so Rupali, Rupali yeah. also wants to say something and she's telling me to read the message so I'm reading okay. the message Okay. Uh, she says girls going to the party and she's dancing there Okay. And then she's so tired, and now she wants to relax, so she's sitting on the couch. Okay, okay, fine. So she wants she's she's suggesting she's suggesting this. Okay, mm. fine. So finally, but then mother's problem is there, and for that solution we have to find, and the solution is uh, as uh, if someone suggested about the meditation and uh, about some spiritual talks or some motivational movie 
or uh, some some uh, she can go around in nature she can move around and maybe her mother uh, will take her to uh, some shopping or she can move around in garden and then come back and then again come back and uh, do her work uh, these these are the different ways she can do okay so uh, the solution uh, becomes here dream big work hard make it happen so her mother uh, suggested her that uh, um, sitting on just on couch and listening to music is uh, for for some time that's okay but uh, uh, to gain something or to achieve something in life uh, she has to dream big and work hard there is no shortcut Okay. okay. So now uh, it's time for the title of your story. So, as we have discussed before, uh, the title should be catchy and eye-catching and intriguing title uh, is the vital part of the story. So, uh, main story. So now, uh, when many movies now, if it is Singam, so Singam One and Singam Returns, okay. So then the, all were eager, oh, wow, Singham returns. So now, now this movie we will see. Everybody enjoyed Singham now, the, then Singham returns, they enjoyed. So after all, is one of the first thing the reader is going to see is the story title, okay? So, and the character. So uh, actually, you know, there are no uh, fixed rule, but, but the main thing is that it should be catchy and it should be associated with the story. Okay. It should be, uh, now here, if I have seen that, eat beautiful. Yeah, I can write this, that eat healthy. But then, then you know, it's every, if, if you don't eat this, don't eat that, it will, it will be that. But if it is eat beautiful, so then, oh wow, something different. It's, it, it's, it is something different. So uh, automatically, the reader will have uh, his or her eye on the article or on the story that there is something different, right? So title uh, is the main boosting thing that it will attract the reader. Okay, so take care that the title is catchy and uh, it should be intriguing. Okay, so um, as I told that uh, title can be a single word, it can be about the character, it can be about the situation, it can be about the problem and the solution, it can be about a saying, right? So uh, you can find out and don't don't hastily just write down title first. But when you are writing your story, even don't forget to write down the title, okay? So otherwise you will lose one mark. See, the examples of title are Bye Bye Lazy, Real Dreams, then Waiting to Excel, The Open Secret, right? So these are some um, eye-catching and interviewing title. Uh, you want to try uh, any title for uh, Or today's situation, or you can write down about a title lazy about. Girl. Sorry. Lazy, lazy girl. Okay. The lazy girl. Okay, fine. I okay, fine. I I have written bye bye lazy. So I have uh, means the girl is now fine, and uh, that lazy girl is uh, now now no more lazy. So fine. Okay, good. Some more titles if they. Okay, now about the conclusion of the story. So uh, while writing conclusion of the story, uh, summary of the, the main points or the arguments overall. So uh, suppose in case uh, the, the story is about a boy, uh, he faced some problem um, while traveling or suppose in case there is a boy who, who is not having any, any bicycle and he is always late to school so then that this was the problem so then how he how and he was not able to buy because he did not have enough money so what did he do 
uh, he he tried to sell certain things he he uh, he, he started uh, distributing newspaper so slowly he he got some money and then uh, he was able to buy a second hand bicycle and then uh, when he he was able to buy the bicycle so then finally what will be the conclusion of the story that uh, it it is that he 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 was able to reach to, uh, to school in time and uh, he he saved time and um, he did well in his study so this way you can conclude and um, the conclusions uh, are the decisions and opinion we form after thinking logically about the information so uh, about the full story if we think that full story you have to uh, think about the story and come to the conclusion so for us uh, uh, many times it is that uh, the starting is given so you when you start your story with that starting uh, don't change that starting okay and if the ending is given so then uh, you can think uh, uh, your story according to you plot your story according to and come to the conclusion uh, of the story with the same uh, wordings which are been given in your exam okay please don't change that because the examiner wants you to write your story with the same starting which is given in the question paper and if the ending is given you have to think your story you have to plot your story according to and come to that conclusion come to that ending of the story uh, till this uh, is hope everything is clear what should be the length of the story uh, uh i i would suggest that ma'am uh, they can write into uh, three to four paragraph Okay, that uh, hundred, means hundred uh, to hundred to hundred and fifty words, not more than that, ma'am. Okay, so that means they have one introduction. If four paras are they, one yeah. introduction, two body, and one yeah. conclusion. Yeah. So yes. They have to have see, paragraphs see. like that. Yeah, they should write like this. So uh, it it will help them. So uh, before I have I have asked them that. Uh, uh the title carries one mark the proper vocabulary and grammar carries one mark proper plotting carries two mark and then the ending carries one mark conclusion carries one mark so this way the marks are uh, been given to them so so uh, so the first para will be the problem okay uh, no ma'am no ma'am for first para will be about the character because you cannot directly come to the problem right okay so the first para will be about the character character describing the, the describing the character because ma'am before means coming to problem you cannot start a story with a problem right hmm. uh, you can you can you can describe uh, the character and then what he is doing or she is doing and then slowly put the problem okay so then it becomes this interesting right okay yeah and then uh, we yeah. have to go yeah they have to then the problem yes is. yes yes you have to describe the problem how the problem is what the actual problem is and uh, how the intensity how? intensity of the problem so as i i described about uh, a boy who was not able to uh, reach school in time because he, uh, he he did not have any bicycle or or he was not able to uh, travel by bus or by any other means of transportation so then he came to know that uh, one of his neighbor or somebody uh, was selling his second hand bicycle so then he thought that he can do this he cannot ask money from his father because he was uh, uh, he could not uh, pay for it so then what he do what he did so then this this so when a problem is there you have to write about the problem and then uh, how that problem is affecting the character he has they have to write into short they should not go on and on writing because the examiner is not going to give marks if the story is of two page or two and a half page uh, okay. because examiner is not going to read long stories okay they are not going okay. to okay so they have they have enough time after the examination they can write a novel if they want but for uh, uh, for, for examination is, yeah are they supposed to write the moral uh actually uh, in uh, this pattern uh, i don't suggest that they have to write the moral of the story is 
they have to write the story in such manner and in the conclusion itself we will come to uh, we will understand that what the story is and uh, what we have understood okay so uh, specifically they don't have to write before it was that we have to write down the moral of the story is so we mm. should be specific and in concluding line only we have to write down uh, mm. what we have learned from the so the there no other question okay fine i'll go ahead mm. here is an example of a good story so uh, i have written a, a develop a story to get the following end so um, uh, let's do this so dash 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 okay so think of the story develop the story and the injured person was sent to hospital i returned home wishing speedy recovery of the patient of the person okay so now for this uh, the question itself is saying that you have full rights your full rights to develop the story right so how are you going to develop because here we have to we you have to start uh, uh, the story so now for the start uh, where did you meet this injured person and then uh, how i am connected to i means the writer of the story so how i uh, am connected to this incident so uh, so many things are there so you 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 have full independence that um, how are you going to um, take this story ahead and means you have to you will start this story and come to this conclusion uh, with this thought in your mind that that injured person he was sent to hospital and i returned home wishing speedy recovery of that person so uh for this uh, what will you think first uh, you will think how will you start your story so suppose in case that uh, i was passing by uh, or i was walking on the road or i was strolling in garden and uh, and uh, i was listening to music or i was talking to my friend or i was eating something or i was playing or i was coming from school on the way back home from school so uh, these things can come so here you will start and then uh, then this incident happened uh, there was a road accident and so a vehicle came and it it hit that old man okay so let's see how this uh, story is going ahead shall we renu ma'am yes yes sir yeah fine okay so uh, the the title of my story is um, hit and run is no fun okay so uh, the title of the story uh, see i have given this i will give you time you can also think a title for this story okay so a uh, hit and run is no fun while returning from school i found an old person seriously injured and lying unattended on the road see i have mentioned from where i was coming and what did i find and how what the condition of that old person was okay so he was injured he was lying unattended on the road i ran to him i shouted loudly for help and called the nearby people i examined him and found that his injuries were severe he was groaning with pain see now here his pain is also described so you 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 got some nice word uh, to explain okay i thought that it was a hit and run case because there was nobody around okay so then then i came to this conclusion that this was uh, is, this was a hit and run case so taking this in mind i have given the title hit and run is no fun so see here the title can be rhyming also fine so uh, we we call the police and the ambulance right so see i did not do this that i kept him lying like that or just i saw i clicked pictures on my mobile i did not do that so what was essential essential was that that i we called police 
okay so it was called here we called so as as a girl or the boy if they uh, they if they had called some people around and then uh, somebody must have called police and then an ambulance was also called till they arrived uh, i with the help of others so not only me with the help of others moved the injured person to the platform nearby okay you cannot keep a, pay, a person who is injured lying on the road right so then what what uh, what action is done uh, we i along with someone else okay i took help of others and i and i put that uh, injured person on to the nearby platform i checked his pockets along with with the gentleman in the crowd see this is also very nicely explained in this uh, i did not decide to check the pocket on my own fine so with with the help of a gentleman because sometime it happens like that nahi he, he had some valuable in his pocket so this boy must have taken this can also be the case so then again problem may problem so we don't want that so here uh, i checked his pocket along with the gentleman in the crowd if he carried a mobile phone or a wallet now for for what reason mobile phone so we can call their family members or some near or dear ones okay and uh, wallet why because you can have aadhar card and then you can you can come to know his name or anything any any clue if we get that from where he is uh, how we can contact his family members right so uh, they were there with his uh, other belongings okay so i kept careful watch so that no one from the crowd would take away his belongings so uh, what did i do as a student i did that i did not allow anybody to come near uh, that injured person because there was uh, uh, he was scared that uh, somebody from crowd will come and uh, steal his things so soon the police came i told them everything that i knew okay so this is also very essential that you should if you are taking some responsibility how the responsibility is taken so then uh, he he i explained everything that i saw like like this happened this happened uh, the police thanked me for the cooperation the injured person was sent to hospital i returned home wishing speedy recovery for the poor old man fine so yes ma'am yeah so then uh, we are running short of time yes ma'am yes okay so they can think they can have screenshot of this story and they can even uh, think of this now things to remember as we have discussed uh, you have to use proper language the one more thing they have to write story in the past and uh, the your the story should cover answers to who where whom how all these things uh, are, um, are necessary to the things to remember okay so they can make their story interesting so as i told before also the beginning and ending as it is mentioned in the story they have to write their story accordingly uh, then only the it will be counted and the marks will be uh, given to them and one more thing they have to use figure of speech Uh, similes onomatopoeia means gurgling sound or tinkling of coin and so they they can add and they can write and uh, uh, they can make the story beautiful and interesting so think of a nice title and write your story well with beautiful words and you become a great story writers all the best thank you thank you any problem any doubt no they are writing the story they have written okay. down the the stories okay fine okay they can write down the title and uh, thanks uh, children for uh, participating in uh, this uh, activities also and hope you have followed and if you have any problem or any doubt you can ask so right now they have no doubts Okay. But uh, the presentation was very good. Very good. They liked okay. your presentation. Oh, thank and, you. And uh, they like your lecture. Oh, thank, thank you, you ma'am. They're thank saying. You. Oh, great. So yeah, it, the presentation was really good. Oh, good. Thank you, ma'am. So, uh, can we call Samina, ma'am, for yes, the vote of thanks? 
Yes, thank you, Renu ma'am. Yes, Samina ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Good evening, everyone. On behalf of the members of MNET, I would like to thank Mrs. Nandini Bhatkar for volunteering her time and providing us with such an important, informative, and engaging presentation. The topic explained by you will be of immense help for the students, and I hope our students will surely apply all the details explained by you. I would also like to appreciate the constant efforts of Mr. Nadeem Khan for providing the necessary technical support to MNET. Many thanks to the host and convener, Mrs. Renu Dhotre, for organizing the series of webinars Learn From Home through the platform of MNET. These webinars have enabled the students to stay updated with their knowledge and can be utilized by them. I would like to extend our thanks to the participants for effectively participating in the Learn From Home webinar series held till date. We look forward to such enthusiasm from our participants in the future as well. Once again, a huge thanks to everyone. Have a great evening. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you, Shamina, ma'am. Thank, uh, you, thank you, ma'am. Ma yeah, and thank, thank you, you uh, Nadim, sir. Yeah. And thank you, participants. It was really oh, yes. wonderful series that has thank gone you. on. Tomorrow will be the last day of this of this series, so be present for the future instructions. Yeah. Okay, Renu, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Nadim, sir. Thanks, Mnet and Inet. Thanks a lot.